no plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending. We got no plans. This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. You've probably seen that Google, in a year, is coming out with glasses that act as a computer screen, essentially while you're walking around, interacting with your life. If you get a phone call, you'll see an image of the caller in your field of view, and, and then you can say, answer, and talk to the person, and see them in the glasses. If you look at a bus stop sign, the glasses will tell you whether the bus is delayed. If you on someone, the glasses will tell you which way to swirl your tongue. I, I, I made up that last one, but I'm sure there's an app for that. Now, I'm not one to fight technological advancements. When the beeper was replaced by the cell phone, I didn't say, watch out, it will destroy our society and make drug dealers harder to identify. When the carrier pigeon was replaced by tattooing a message on a shaved hamster and then using a slingshot to hurl it to the intended recipient, I didn't yell, it's not natural, and furthermore, the hamster should be wearing a cape. And when children were replaced by Call of Duty 3 as the time consumption mechanism of choice, I did not protest. I am not a Luddite. However, I do believe in thinking about the consequences of things. Once the Google Glasses come out, assuming they even remotely work, idiots will be walking into traffic left and right. So that's a positive, but there are negatives as well. Will the real world without the glasses even come close to competing with the enhanced world? Once you can do your day-to-day -day chores while simultaneously watching sports out of the corner of your eye or, or Dame Judy Dench's shocking sex tape, will you ever be content with the regular world again? We're already ADD dopamine whores running around looking for our next tiny fix, whether it be a retweet or a, or a like on a Facebook post or, or a guinea pig wearing a cape flying through your window with a tattoo of a thumbs up on his belly. Now imagine you are essentially, you've essentially got all those things in your field of view 24-7. Then tack on the inevitable advertisements, which is the real reason these devices are ever created. Every bit of data you look at during your day-to-day -day will be collected and analyzed, stored and categorized, as opposed to just your online life. Now your entire life will be fed into an algorithm that will decide what you should want and should need. The glasses, if used regularly, will nearly be indecipherable from your own thoughts. And they will know what you're looking at in a store, what you ran out of recently at home what your kids been nagging you for. You're a 22 year old male living in Delaware? You should probably pick up 12 Hollister shirts and some Axe body spray. You're a 52 year old female living alone in Vermont? Well here are some things that cats like. We will become useless vessels simply kept around to do mindless mechanical tasks and then funnel the money made from it to corporations. So that part won't be any different than now but there are some negatives too that are, that are newer and, and, and different. Imagine the amount of surveillance good old Homeland Security will be able to do once they're able to see everything you're looking at in your day-to-day. -day. They will literally be able to tap into millions of pairs of eyes around the country at any time. And you know, you know they won't just watch you when they claim it's important, like at airports or government buildings. They'll also watch you when you fall down. That's right. They'll collect all the videos of all of us tripping over his and slipping on things and falling over and they'll put it into an endless streaming fall down channel and they'll watch it and laugh and laugh and laugh. Look, I get it. There are people falling down right now and it's quite possible no one is laughing at them. Does that sadden me? Sure. Sure it does. I'm only human. But perhaps it's a price I'm willing to pay to avoid the dystopian world that Google is forcing upon us. That's your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. My new stand-up album, Pepper Spray the Tears Away, will be out at the end of May. I hope you'll check it out. Also, follow me on Twitter, at LeeCamp. Thanks. Plans, no plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretend.